या गुड मॉर्निंग मैं आई नो योर गुड नेम या वैष्णवी कैन आई हैव योर रिज्यूमे या ओके वैष्णवी सो बिफोर मूविंग टू द इंटरव्यू प्लीज इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ performing any testing uh, but i am releasing to the market so what will happen so the buggy software with less quality will be released into the market okay and uh, the client may be disappointed the final result will be not proper the business reputation will be lost and uh, the sales may get dropped so the major thing is we will get a failure chance okay fine and so what is the functional testing in software testing Functional testing is nothing but the validating the client requirements. Okay. So the types of functional testing are smoke testing, regression testing, read testing, positive and negative testing, APN testing, sanity testing, exhaustive testing, and the ad hoc consists of paired, buddy, exploratory, and monkey. Yeah. Okay. So what you observe the difference between positive and negative testing? So positive testing is nothing but uh, checking the application with valid. Valid inputs, for example, entering the in, uh, valid username and valid password, and checking whether the uh, checking whether the like uh, you need to say valid was accepting or not, uh, and invalid is rejecting. Rejecting or not? Okay, so you said that in functional testing, retesting is also one part. So, what is the definition of the retesting? After the defect was fixed by developer, okay. checking the defect was properly fixed or not. Okay, so uh, are you aware the concept of white box and black box? Yeah. So what's the difference between white box and black box? So white box is nothing but clear box testing, open box testing, and glass box testing. So uh, white box is done by the software developers. Here, uh, the tester should have minimum knowledge about the programming language and okay. the types of white box testing are the path testing and loop testing. And the syntax coverage, we can say condition. And black box means who will know? Yeah, black box testing is nothing but uh, closed to testing. So black box testing is done by the software testers. Here, no knowledge of programming is required, and the software code is hidden and nothing is known about it. Mm, okay. So uh, can we uh, can you name the levels of testing? How many levels we are doing? So manual testing and automation. Uh, I'm asking about in validation. We are doing the four levels of testing, so it is a part of white box and black box. So, okay, are you aware that unit and integration? Yeah, unit, in, unit testing, integration testing, and system testing. And the user acceptance. User acceptance testing. Okay, so what is test case? Uh, test case is nothing but uh, what to test with scenario. So, can you give the some attribute names of test kits? Test kits. ID. Okay. Test scenario ID. Report comment. You uh, are the main attributes you need to say expectation and actual, actual and then report. Okay. So, what is RCM document? RCM document means uh, requirement clarification document. It is a document where this 
uh, where the requirement was not understood by the testers. So okay. that requirement was uh, updated in the document. So after that, furtherly the client will follow one meeting and then uh, he will clarify all the doubts. Yeah, okay, that's fine. And uh, so, uh, are you aware of the bug life cycle? Okay, mm. so inside the bug life cycle, we are seeing some status. Yes. So what are the bug status available? Yeah, uh, new, new, and assign consist of uh, reject, hold, and as per design. Okay. And later, um, open, bug fixing, bug status, and pretest. If pretest has failed, again it will be reopened. If it will pass, the test will be closed. Okay, so you told that uh, reject. So what is the status of reject? So if uh, if developer thinks it is not at all the defect, then he will set the status as reject. Okay. So is it like uh, you said that hold as well? Yeah. So when he can give the hold status? Uh, uh, if the de developer uh, thinks that uh, he has confused about the defect, so he will set the status as hold. Yeah, fine. So finally, so what is the difference between inspection and walkthrough? Uh, inspection is nothing but it is a formal type of review. It is uh, done by a special team in the middle of the process with okay. intimation. So walkthrough is nothing but uh, walkthrough is a formal type of review. Informal. Informal type of review uh, done in anywhere at any time without intimation. Yeah. Okay, so how can you say the test case is failed? So, uh, test case includes uh, test uh, steps, requirement steps, verification. Like uh, the main is? When the expectation the, uh, is not matching to the actual, then we can say test case is failed. Yes, when the expectation was not matched. Yes, fine. And, yeah, okay, so I think I done it myself. Okay, finally, what you observe the difference between manual and automation testing? Manual testing is nothing but uh, to find the defects, the testing is done by the human interaction. Okay. And automation testing is nothing but to find the defects, the testing is done by the some automation tools like Selenium to Core Java. Like your yeah, Core Java is programming manual, yes, Selenium to Core Yeah, okay, fine, my son, I think uh, I done with my side. You have any queries to ask? Yeah. Yeah, you mean?